Hello, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video, we will discuss whether a kidney failure patient should eat high protein diet or not. Now we are discussing this topic because our patient often asks this question from us because they think that a high protein diet will help them to get energy. But in response to this question, we always say no. And in this video, we will discuss why I refuse them to include high protein food in their diet. So why a kidney failure patient cannot take chicken or meat to their diet? When a kidney starts getting damaged, it loses its ability to clean the blood. That is why creatinine levels of a kidney failure patient become higher than the normal. And the ways that the body doesn't come out through urine starts accumulating in the body. And in this condition, kidney failure patient cannot eat food items that generate more waste like creatinine and urea in the body. Now some of you might be wondering what creatinine is and why it is important. Well, creatinine is a waste product that is produced in our muscles and released in the bloodstream. Whenever the muscle uses energy, a byproduct named creatinine is also formed. Normally this creatinine is removed through body by kidney through urine but in kidney patient the creatine cannot be removed by the kidney and it stays within the body and if the kidney patient eats food item like chicken or mutton which also contains high amount of protein creates a worse condition for a kidney failure patient another reason for refusing the patient to eat a high protein diet is because of protein complexity the molecule of protein are bigger than other nutrients and every time it is broken down into pieces it creates more waste material. So the waste material created during the breakdown of protein also increases the amount of waste material inside a kidney failure patient body. Eating high protein diet not only affects the kidney but also affects the blood pressure of the patient. Usually a person that eats more meat has a high blood pressure because of high salt intake and high blood pressure affects the functioning of the kidney. So these are the reasons why kidney failure patients are not allowed to eat any kind of high protein food. However, patient can add eggs in the diet if they are low in protein because the kidney failure patient who have low protein in the body will suffer from swelling in the body parts, especially in the legs. So to avoid complication like swelling, kidney failure patient must include any quick source of protein like eggs in the diet. But why eggs and not meat is a question which should be answered. The answer is very simple. Eggs are only recommended in the condition because an egg is 100% digestible protein. But the amount of egg should be recommended by the dietitian or by the doctor. Also, you can lower or control creatinine levels by increasing the kidney function and improving the diet. Now, if a patient of kidney failure wants to lower down the level of creatinine, they can do it by two ways. First is by controlling diet and other is by improving the kidney function because when your kidney is in a better condition it can filter out more waste through urine that is why the improvement of diet and kidney function is both necessary for controlling creatinine levels the diet for kidney failure patient should be designed to prevent waste accumulation in the body and increase the kidney's functions and when the kidney function improves it also increases the creatinine clearance through urine so you can control your creatinine level if you take care of your food and the function of the kidney also it is very important to lower the creatinine levels to stop the dialysis now the question arises how to improve kidney functions well we have discussed earlier that controlling dietary habits help improving kidney's functionality but it is not the only factor the kidney will get better only if the cause of the kidney disease in controlled let's say the cause of the kidney failure was high blood pressure to improve the functionality of the kidney, you need to control the blood pressure. That is why a patient whose kidney has been damaged due to high blood pressure has to take proper medication and diet to control the main cause that is high blood pressure. Now I will show you some reports of the kidney failure patient who recovered their creatinine and urea level in a very short period of time. I hope you have understood from this video why kidney failure patients are not allowed to take high protein diet. If you have any kind of question inquiry regarding kidney failure, you can simply send your reports via mail. With this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.